welcome to another 18 tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over the one shot zero process of your Thor 4 scope. Uh, but before we do that, uh, make sure that your scope um, has the correct lens type uh, in the settings. And to check that, we're going to go into the um, carousel menu, just press the OK button. And from there, we're going to go into system settings where the wrench icon is and press OK again. And we're, we're going to go right, click right uh, to get to the settings tab. And if you click down, you will see device type. Uh, I here have the uh, 640 model, the 2x5x25. By by so whatever is relevant to your scope, choose that. And it has to be uh, set to the correct lens type. To zero in your scope, uh, you will need to go to the profile zero section in the system settings or select it from the shortcut carousel. Uh, to select it from the shortcut carousel, you just press the center OK button. And through the short carousel menu, we're going to just click left and until we get to this icon where it says zero reticle. So then again, you would press the OK button to confirm and you would get to the one shot zero setup. But I'm going to show it to you um, from the zero profile section. So we're going to exit from here. This is just a short shortcut version, um, but I want to touch on the profiles a little bit. So that's why I'm going to go through that uh, route. So we're going to click uh, save and exit. And then we're going to go uh, again into the menu, press the center OK button, and then click left and go to the system settings, press OK again. And we're going to click right until we get to the profiles in zero. Before we begin uh, the zeroing process, you will need to either create a new profile or utilize an existing one. Uh, I recommend that you use a new profile to understand the process better. And to do that, you would click down to Other, click OK. And here we have the current profile, which is Profile 1. And we're going to create a new one. So click down, click the OK button. And there you go, the second profile is created. So to choose it, we're going um, so to scroll to it, press the OK button, and click Load. There you go, now the scope is using the second profile. Uh, profiles are primarily used in order to utilize your scope on various weapons. This way, when you have, uh, when moving your scope from one gun to the next, you can simply select the profile that you have already created for the particular gun you're using. Multiple profiles are also used in, to zero in your scope on the same gun, but at different ranges. For example, one profile may be called AR-50 yards and another AR-200 yards, allowing you to create two separate profiles to better fine-tune your shooting solutions for both shorter and longer shooting ranges. In order to change the profile name to what you want, open the ATN Obsidian app and connect your phone tablet to your scope. Uh, you can check out a video uh, on this tutorial on how to do that on this channel. All right, so now we're gonna click back and go to current and click OK. So now we're going to zero the scope. Make sure that the rifle is in a fixed position using a bench rest or sandbox. You will need to obtain a thermal target uh, to be able to see. Uh, we sell uh, thermal targets on our website. Uh, or you can use the following items like a cold or hot water bottle, hand warmers, or foil based tape. I am using foil based tape, so that works as well. Um, so we're going to click OK. So you would want to aim um, in the center of your target and while keeping the gun as steady as possible, fire a round. Uh, when you fired the round, uh, use the keypad and scroll wheel to move the red crosshair to the point of impact while keeping the white crosshair in the same place as you were aiming. Once you have placed the red cross here on the point of impact, press the OK button. And then you're gonna click down, save, and exit. Although you may not need more than one shot to zero in your scope, we would recommend that you repeat the process several times to make sure that you're truly zeroed in. As you gain experience in zeroing your scope, it should take no time at all to zero it. Also, in order to fine tune your zero, uh, Select the zero reticle once more, press the OK button, 
it should be saved to your uh, X and Y that you've previously zeroed to. And then you would press the OK button again. And then choose Zoom. Once you choose Zoom, you want to zoom in all the way. And click the OK button again to get that uh, reticle set up. If your, uh, if your reticle is not in the center of your second shot, then you would just uh, move it along again to fine tune so that, so that your uh, point of impact is the same as optical and maximum magnification. And then once, you're, once it's done, press the OK button again, click Save and Exit. And that's it for the whole one shot zero process. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.